What's up guys man, Rene Anthony over here at South Beach Transfer Bud Up here in uh, Massachusetts right now Driving um, Alright, I got a, another question Justin, what's up bud, I haven't forgot about you man <laughs> I try to make videos, um, you know, at least every day um, But I have a bunch of videos made I just need to post them because um, I don't have good Wi-Fi when I'm driving I don't have Wi-Fi so um, Sometimes the videos I post them when I get to a hotel that has Wi-Fi. The past two hotels suck, so. Um, but all right, so the question Justin has is, all right, basically you're gonna start a company, you wanna get a four car hauler in Tennessee, but you're planning on moving to Florida. And you wanna know the pros and cons of moving to Florida. Um, and about the four car hauler. Alright, you got a new CDL. So basically you want to start a, a business with a four-car hauler. Okay. So I'll tell you my opinion on it. Um so let's start first with um moving to the state of Florida from Tennessee. The only problem with that man, it's beautiful down here in Florida, man. You have a I mean it's beautiful, but insurance is gonna be five times as high as it is in Tennessee or anywhere else um, you know down in especially down in Fort Lauderdale area Miami area um, for some reason man it's real real high insurance companies don't like Florida um, I found it a little cheaper if you stay in northern Florida um, I have some property up in Madison Florida and um, I've done some research on my insurance and I found out that it's a lot um, less expensive if I actually move the company to Madison Florida um, so actually that's what I plan on doing um, or even Georgia um, but yeah what I would do if I was you is open up the company in Tennessee get your quotes and on insurance and get your insurance out of Tennessee um, it'll be a lot less expensive and just you know you could travel all around the, the US so I mean there's nothing stopping you from getting a place down in in Fort Lauderdale and you know as you travel and everything go down there but um <laughs> as far as getting you know, moving, relocating your business and starting the business down in Fort Lauderdale, your insurance is going to be a lot, lot higher. But I mean, at least double, 100% sure. Um, if not, triple. But um, and you could get quotes from both, you know. But um, you know, I, you'll see the difference. But definitely, yeah, I would do that. Um, so it, it's nice down there and all, you know. But um, you know, just you know, like I said. Be careful of the insurance and relocating your business. You know, you can always start the trucking company and make it out of Tennessee and then, you know, have a place down in Florida that you stay at. You know, that's not a big deal. Um, and then once you have experience, maybe later on you can change your insurance in Florida once you can afford it. Um, you say also you're, you're new to the industry. Um, you don't have a CDL yet um, or a new CDL. Uh, remember, you know, when you when you start your business, um, they're going to want to know, are you owner-operator? So really, the only company that's going to probably insure you would be Progressive. Um, so to save you a little bit of footwork, Progressive is going to um, insure you for sure. Um, it doesn't matter how long you've had your CDL. They don't even care about that. Um, but they are a little more expensive, maybe. But um, I got a bunch of quotes when I did mine, <laughs> and the only one that would insure me at the time I found was progressive, so that's who I went with there. Um, um, so yeah, you know, just keep that in mind when you start your business. And there's a lot of licenses, man. Make sure you, you know, you gotta get, uh, I mean, tons and tons of licenses, man. Um, and it depends where you want to run. If you want to run around the United States, you gotta make sure that you have your IFTA stickers very big. You know, you gotta do safety inspection. You have to do um, drug tests. Register for your drug tests. There's a bunch, a bunch of different steps that you're going to have to go along um, with and um, you know if, if you know as you're going through each step um, you know there's you could ask me you know different questions about the steps and I'll, I'll reiterate each step for you um, I have to you know might have to be in my office and get some paperwork and go over everything with you so exactly what I'm telling you is 100% factual but um Everything I've done is so I have all the steps to it um, But just make sure you know you do your research, you know And also, you know to get your carrier authority and all that 
just hire a company. There's tons of companies out there that um, will actually do your carrier authority paperwork for you and everything. I know you can do it yourself, but those companies give you good advice and they also know exactly how to file all the paperwork. Also, your IFTA, um, you know, hire somebody to do your IFTA paperwork for you and everything. That way it's a lot easier, man. You know, I went down there myself to Tallahassee because I'm registered in Florida and I waited in line and then I get up there and it was, um, you know, they, I had to come back home and I live in Miami, man, so I had to come back and get... Just, they, they want massive paperwork. You got to be insured first. So first you got to get your insurance, you know, so. Um, but yeah, make sure you have everything lined up, man. Make sure you know what you're doing. Make sure that your insurance, you know, because when you get your insurance, it starts, the time starts clicking. So you don't want to get your insurance and try to get all your stuff lined up because then it could take three months for you to get your thing. And, and meanwhile, you're dead, not making no money, but you're paying insurance, you know. So make sure you know everything before you get your insurance then when you get your insurance everything is smooth you can just go get all your licenses really fast you know um but yeah it's it's uh you know moving to florida you know you got my opinion on it um it's beautiful down here don't get me wrong everything is more expensive everything not just insurance your cost of living is probably five times as much as in tennessee you know um depends what parts of tennessee of course but you know um it's just a lot more expensive, a lot more people, um, you know, so everything is a lot more expensive down there, but so, you know, just keep that in mind when, when you are relocating and everything. Um, all right, so you, you mentioned a four-car hauler. Um, I'm not sure if you purchased it yet or not, um, but I'm a big enclosed guy. You know, I, I believe in enclosed carriers um, just because you make so much more and you work so much less. You know, you could get a two-car enclosed carrier for about the same cost as that four-car probably costs you. And I'll give you an example. Let's say you're going to go to California with a four-car. You're going to get about six fifty dollars a car. Let's say seven hundred dollars if you're lucky. Um, enclosed. I mean, oh, that's open. That's $2,800. Bucks. Enclosed, you could get it for... Anywhere from seventeen hundred to twenty three hundred, twenty four hundred. You know, so it's a big difference. You know, if you're coming across country. Um, I mean, I just got a car coming from. Um, where do we pick it up from? Where do we pick that car up from? The the out uh, um, the white from Washington. Oh, Washington. We picked the car up from um, Oregon. Oregon. We picked the car up from Oregon, and I I took it out to um um connect um. Pennsylvania, Oregon to Pennsylvania. I'm sorry, man. It's been a long night. But Oregon to Pennsylvania, and I got um, 2,700 for it. Oh no, I got um, 3,000 for it. I got 3,000 for the car coming from Oregon to Pennsylvania. Um, you know, so uh, you can't do that on an open. You'll never get 3,000 for a car on open. You won't even get 2,000 for a car on open. The most that you'll ever get on a car on open is a thousand dollars maybe man i mean 1200 maybe but i doubt that man so just think about it man in close definitely the route to go man even if you already purchased your four car i would sell the four car and buy a a, a, a two car in close or a three car in close you know you just get so much more money for the cars man i mean i i don't take nothing less than two thousand dollars coming from coast to coast on an enclosed, nothing less than 2000 So, and on this trip here, I got, I think that one car was three grand and the other car was 20, I think 2100 they paid me for the other car. So 2100 and um, three grand, so, you know, 5100 On an open, you would have got 28, let's say max, you would have got four grand if you got a thousand a car. But that ain't gonna happen. Man, I'm telling you, that's not, there's too many guys out there running open is doing it for whatever the hell they want to do it for, bro. I don't know what the fuck they think, bro. They, they do shit for 30 cents a mile, 40 cents. They fuck our industry up, man. You got to get, you know, hold your damn head high, man. All the drivers out there, guys, if you're listening to this shit, man, stop letting these brokers run you, man. You know, get out there and fucking demand more money. 
If we all stick together and we all fucking demand more money, they don't have a fucking choice but to pay it. Remember that. Okay? We're the ones with the fucking trucks, man. All right? If we demand more money and everybody sticks together, fuck, we're going to get paid, man. You know? I hate looking at some of these load boards and I see loads for 30 cents a fucking... These fucking guys are taking loads for 32 cents going across fucking country. Bro, it costs more than fucking gas. You can't run across country. You can't run a fucking truck at 32 cents a mile. How in the fuck can you do that? It's stupid. Doesn't make sense to me, man, but whatever. These guys take it. I'll never fucking take a load. That shit will rot on fucking the load board before I take it. That's a fact, man. 1,000% fact. It will rot on the load board before I take it. I don't take nothing less than 85 cents, a dollar. Depends where I'm going and what the situation is, but I don't give a shit. I'd rather sit there and wait or go somewhere else, drive another 100 miles and get something. I won't take anything less than 85 cents a mile. Anything. So, But yeah, definitely, man, the, um, the enclosed versus the four-car hauler, 1,000%. Man. So if you got a four-car hauler, you waste more fuel. You got to stop more. You got to deal with more customers, which equals more problems. All your vehicles are open to the elements. So one damage, fucking done. That trip was for nothing. One little rock that pops up and cracks a windshield or fucking damages a brand new car, then what? You know? In an enclosed, you deal with less customers, higher quality customers, too. You're dealing with the Macy's customers versus the fucking Marshall's customers. 1,000% factual. <coughs> People who ship in clothes have money, man. They're nicer. They help you. They're very, I mean, I tell you, just way better customer. You get better tips, everything. Um, so definitely, man, go with the in clothes carrier versus the four car. And, um, you know, anything else I missed here, man, ask me another question, man. You know, um, but I think I covered most of your concerns there. Um, but definitely, man, if you take anything out of this video, Buy a enclosed carrier. Do not buy a open. Trust me, but I do this for a living, and I've done it for 12 years. I'm also a broker as well, man. And I'm telling you, enclosed is the way to go, 100%, all right? All right, Justin, man, I appreciate everything, bud, all right? And um, I hope you got something out of this video here. If I missed anything, please, man, comment on it. And I'll make another video and answer that for you, okay, bud? You take care, man. I appreciate everything. Everybody, please subscribe here, man. I need more subscribers. Justin, tell five or six of your buddies, man. I know you got a Facebook. Post me on Facebook. Tell them, man. Help me out here. You know, um, get me some more subscribers, man. Please, I really appreciate that, all right? All right, guys, man. Renee Anthony, South Beach Transports. Make it happen.